Happy New Year. This is an update for the Newlands Primary School parents and carers as we start the spring 2021 school term. Thank you to all the parents and carers who have supported us in the following our extensive COVID risk assessment in order to keep our school community, which includes the children, staff, and families as safe as possible and keep the school open as much as possible. We continue to monitor infection rates in the community and Wakefield, and though we saw a decrease before Christmas, the number of positive infections in the area and the country are on a rise. There is considerable concern regarding one of the new variants of the original COVID virus, which makes it approximately 70% more infectious in children and drastically increases the potential for children to pass on the virus to each other, to adults in school, and to children and adults in the family. It has yet to be identified that this causes more serious illness in children, which is good but the ability to pass it on to more vulnerable individuals needs to be considered. We have taken into consideration the DFE guidance as well as the newest report from SAGE, the Scientific Advisory Group for Emergencies for the UK, on how to mitigate infections with the new, more infectious strain of COVID-19. Thus, we have updated our original protocols, which can be found in the link below. With the following, as well as with some important reminders that can be found in the original protocols. These are all being put into place to protect everyone and give us more chance in keeping the school and class bubbles open. Morning drop off, key stage one and early years. Children and parents must go directly to the class's social distancing line and remain there until the teacher or TA takes the child's temperature. Once their temperature has been taken, the parent or carer is to leave school grounds immediately while the children remain with the member of staff. This is to limit the close contacts of all adults in the school community. It is important that parents and carers do not linger or meet up in groups inside or outside the school gates and limit normal social communications with each other through phone calls and text in order to keep the flow of people and the social distancing adhered to during these challenging times. Key Stage 2 Parents are to send Key Stage 2 directly to their class's social distance lines and leave the school grounds immediately while the children remain with the member of staff. Again, this is to limit the close contacts of all adults in the school community. It is important that parents and carers, again, do not linger or meet up in groups inside or outside the school gates and limit their normal social communication with each other through phone calls and text messages. This is to keep the flow of people and the social distancing adhered to during these challenging times. End of day collection. All year groups. Parents and carers must wait for on the social distance lines for their child's class and wait for the staff to dismiss the child to you. Please note to year five and year six parents and carers, you must wait for the children on the top playground and not by the class doors. We will be unable to dismiss, dismiss the children if we are unable to take them to the top blank playground and will delay their departure. Face coverings. Parents and carers, all visiting adults or children secondary age or older will be required to wear a face covering on school grounds at all times inside and outside. Please keep the covering over the mouth and nose and do not remove it until you're off of the school grounds. There are some exemptions and they can be found on the link that we have in the description of this video. 
Children, it is recommended that parents and carers, particularly those of Key Stage 2 children, consider that their children wear face coverings in class to support infection control. If a child or a member of staff is wearing a face covering, they will need to take a break from wearing it every one to one and a half hours in a well-ventilated location, preferably outdoors. If your child wears a mask, please label mask with the child's name, provide a baggie to put the mask in during mask rest breaks, and ensure a clean mask is used every day. Note, we do have a small selection of child size face coverings available in school, school. Please contact school if you require assistance. Tier three rules. Staff are often told by others in the school community of the breaking of the current tier rules. Tier rules help to keep our school community safe which includes the children and staff and families of the children and staff. Current tier three rules can be found in the link provided in the description of this video. A summary of tier three rules are the following. We are currently on very high alert. The most important tier three rules for schools is the meeting of friends and family. There should be no mixing of households, indoors or most outdoor places, apart from support bubbles with a maximum of six in some outdoor public spaces. Overnight stays has been advised against overnight stays, including sleepovers for children, other than with the household or the support bubble. We appreciate that this can be a difficult time for all involved. But we need to remember that the key to this is keeping the children and the staff and the families of children and staff as safe as possible. And limiting contacts and the, around this will help us to keep safe with this more infectious virus. Dressing children warmly. Ventilation is an important part of infection control. Open windows and do doors are highly recommended by the government and scientists in homes and schools. The school works hard to keep the school as warm as possible while windows and internal doors are kept open to encourage airflow and fresh air. We are running heating most of the day at a maximum temperatures to do this. However, we are also still going outside as much as possible to minimize the times of close contact as social distancing is not possible in most classrooms. Layering a clothes is the best option for dressing warmly. Several thin layers, one on top of the other, provides greater warmth than one large, thick item of clothing. Extra layers, such as a vest, and polo shirt and jumper, leggings or tights under trousers and thick socks, and even a zip up fleece for the classroom is essential. All children should come to school with a coat and hat, this could be a coat with a hood, to wear outside. Gloves are also a good option for added warmth outside. PE kits, the layering of clothing is even more important on PE days as children have PE outside. Their clothes need to be appropriate for these lessons. Note, if you require any assistance in sourcing clothing for your children, please contact school as soon as possible and we will be happy to assist. Water bottles. All children will continue to need fresh water bottles in school each day that is labeled with their name. These are kept at their seats at all times. As stated, these are reminders to previous protocol or additions to those protocols and it should be seen in its entirety. If you have any questions, please 
feel free to contact the school office. Thank you, and we hope for a fantastic spring term.